Hello, hello, hello. What is up, chat? How we doing today? What is up? Welcome back to the stream. How we doing? How we doing? No kickflip stream today. I changed it. I changed it yesterday in the member only stream. Uh, to Thursday. We had to swap the days. All right. Should be good to go. How we doing? 20 gifted off rip. Hello, hello. God damn. Thank you very much. Beans. Sponsored? This is not sponsored. No. 25 from Squiggy. New Ludbud here. See your rank in mobile games. I recently created Super F RNG Fighter and Auto Battler that already has 500 users. But only a god gamer can beat the bosses. <laughs> Thank you, Squiggy, for the 25. For whatever reason... I'm not trying to put you on blast here. For whatever reason, when somebody wants me to do something, they always, they always set it up like I'm 9. <laughs> like I'm a 28-year-old man. But they'll always be like, I came out with this new Fadian game, but I don't know if you can beat it. <laughs> It's a big challenge. Think you're up for it? Uh, the games I'm playing today are specifically iconic mobile games, specifically from when I was younger. Right? I'm talking, I'm talking like Geometry Dash, Doodle Jump. Temple Run, Jetpack Joy Ride. I'm talking nostalgia a decade ago. What we used to play on our iPods. So although your mobile game might be fantastic, fan fucking tastic. I don't think it would fit what we're going for today, so sorry about that. Brian the boy, off to the races. My latest short is about you once again. Brian, can't keep my name out your goddamn mouth, can you? I hope it goes well. Bag Milk from Ontario. Thank you for the five. Liam plays games. Thank you for the five. Beans back at it again. Proudly sponsored by Beans. I am. Thank you, Kanaru, Rose, Kazd, 50 from Nave. It's not a shock anymore. But thank you for the 50, Nave. Ham with a 20. Ludwig, what is the longest time you've gone without pooping? Probably like, probably five days. Four days, maybe. I think it was after a surgery. Usually after surgery, a lot of the medication you'll receive will make it harder to shit and you'll be weaker. So I think that's my, it's my real genuine answer. It's five days. Uh, 10 from Chiseled. Back at it again. How you doing, Chiseled? Hope life's treating you well. Daniel Smith, thank you the 5. Artist Listen, thank you. Winter, thank you the 10. Logan Lane with the 50, the fuck? Thank you, Logan. Jeez. I don't know if I deserve that. I haven't done shit yet. Chat, what is up? Today we got a good stream in store. If you guys tune into the other stream where we played old Flash games, I think it'll be similar vibes. Because today we're going to play through a bunch of old games. I'm sure you've dabbled in once or twice on your iPod or iPhone, depending how old you are. Parker, thank you, five. From when we were younger, sir. From when we were younger. Yeah. So I, got, I think we got like 12-ish games total. We might not have everything that you guys played. Some games, I think, didn't work. So, you know, let's be let's be generous. Can you do the Luddy? My friends and I love the dance, but won't stop talking about it during lunch. You won't stop talking about it? <laughs> like, you're still discussing it? 
Don't get me wrong. The Luddy took over the universe for like a couple weeks. Everybody was doing the Luddy. I mean, Joe Biden was doing the Luddy for votes at the New Hampshire primary. Everybody was hitting the Luddy. I'm just surprised you guys are still not stop talking, nonstop talking about the Luddy. I thought you guys would be talking about the million dollar CSGO gun, you know? Did you hear about Joe Rogan? That's such a vague sentence, but you've convinced me to Google Joe Rogan. Nothing came up in news. I feel baited. I feel baited. He died? No, you're baiting me. You're baiting me. I actually just Googled him, and I can't believe like I even pretended to think about that for a moment. I'm a big fan from pa uh, Pakistan. Thank you, Cyber Frost. Appreciate that. 15 from Joaquin. Hey, Lud. Watching from Oregon, where the world is a frozen death trap. Hoping that my power doesn't go out have a gate stream. God Godspeed. Godspeed. This son of a bitch. Talking about me? Talking about me? Yeah, you might be right. Spire Tech. Thank you for the membership. Chaz, thank you. Breenan, thank you. Bag Milk, back at it again. The era of Angry Birds was wild. My PB was 73. Is that good? Talking about Flappy Birds PB? I think you mean Flappy Birds, No. I don't think an Angry Birds PB is 73, unless I'm wrong. My Angry Birds knowledge is outdated. Thank you, Isaac, for the 16 months. You almost pronounced Pakistan correctly. Is it Pakistan? It's not Pakistan, right? Pak Pakistan. Pakistan. I'm just making shit up now. Buy the million dollar CS2 gun for content. Bro, I don't even play CS, but thank you for the 20,000... Currency. Pakistan? Pakistan. 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 I'm on level 7. Pac Man. <laughs> 263 of Candy Crush. It's been out since 2012. Give me a break. There are over 15,000 levels, I think. That's crazy. Yeah, Candy Crush goes deep. Candy, we're going to talk about Candy Crush. We got a lot of games you got to talk about today. Thank you, the five gifted boxy dude. So, anyway, chat, today, if you guys tuned into yesterday's stream, we were supposed to do a kickflip today. Uh, that was going to be the stream. Unfortunately, uh, we had some shit. Unfortunately, we had uh, a pod we did with Tarek today. That's a leak. We have a, we have a pod we did with Tarek today. And the podcasts, the way in how it ran uh, in terms of like, because we have to do the primo and the main episode today, took a little too much time. And then we were supposed to do Baldur's Gate today, but unfortunately, Me Young didn't have internet. So anyway, we are uh, we are we are moving it to Thursday. Kickflip uh, stream will be Thursday. That's the game plan. That is the game plan. Uh, imagine at the end of all the level, the first person to beat them will get a billion dollars. Oh, all the Candy Crush levels. Yeah, and it's like a 78-year-old grandmother. Um, stop saying if I've heard about Joe Rogan. Are you a Red Bull sponsor now? You know what? I'm not going to leak. Where's the lube jug? I think in transit, on its way. I have not played chess in a while. I have not played chess in a while. I have seen the tunnels. I have seen the tunnels that the Jewish people in New York dug. Uh, thank you for the membership. Baby, 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 Rwun. Phylaxis, Philip, Lifus. Thank you for all the memberships. I really do appreciate it. We're getting a shit ton of memberships every stream. Coots check. Coots is right over here. And she's, she's right off camera. Okay, you can't see her. Hold up. I lied. She's not there. She's not there. Sorry about that. Sorry, it was a lie. It was a lie. I, I do a bit of lying. How are you gonna have truffle on all of us and not even have it? I have truffle. It's right here. Look, switch to truffle chat beta. But the Truffle Chat beta doesn't have the memberships at the top, and my job is to read them out. Yo, Ludwig, I'm pretty sure Ludwin died a week ago. No, it didn't. In fact, the Ludwin channel is back in better than ever. New VOD uploaded it on it yesterday. Tuesday. 
Take a look. 116,000 people have seen me vote for the streamer awards. Viewers are raving. Ludwig's knowledge of the streaming industry is actually impressive. Have definitely watched the video. L Crazy Ludwig nominated himself for every category. Okay, I didn't do that. I did not nominate myself for every category. Really nice to see Ludwig giving Jinxie his flowers. Dude, you know what I, I read today? I read that Jinxie streamed to no viewers for a year. Like 28 individual streams at one viewer. That's crazy. And kept going, you know? I did find the Brazil kid. He's he's back. He's alive. I don't know. I don't think he's a kid, but he's back. He's alive. Didn't die. Fit check, please. I'm wearing a uh, my sister got me this jacket, and then I have a tank top, and then I'm wearing running shorts, and then my so mom got me socks for Christmas. They're Bombas. I did see the Chugga, Chugga Conroy stuff. It is devastating, as a diehard Chugga Conroy enjoyer in my childhood. Um. But I have no future or no more comment on it. I'm merely an observer now. Wait, what? The skinny of it? Is he uh, really likes feet? Too much. Too much with the feet. <laughs> but uh, but I will I will leave you to look it up. Uh, anyway, chat today. We got a fun stream in store. Let me let me let me first tag the entirety of my Discord. Let them know I'm live on YouTube.com. Live playing every mobile game ever. It's a lie. I'm playing like twelve. <laughs> there are like a million. I'm playing twelve. So this is a bit of a lie here. But we're playing the big ones. Kickflip stream Thursday. Have you tried Tim Hortons coffee? Never. All I know is that it used to be goaded and then McDonald's bought out the original supplier and now McDonald's is the goaded Canadian coffee. But to be honest, I would go to a Dunkin' Donuts. Do they got Dunkin' Donuts up in Canada? Dunkin' Donuts has given up on Canada. <laughs> That's the first article. Dunkin' Donuts has given up on Canada. You win, Tim Hortons. Holy shit. Never mind. <laughs> Damn, you guys got nothing up there. You got fucking nothing. Dunkin' Donuts is absolute ass. Yeah, I know. That's what gives it its charm. Last time I ordered from Dunkin', they just forgot my food. I was like, hey, I ordered egg white bites. Like the product that you guys stole from Starbucks. And they were like, ah, shit, my bad. And then they made it, and I had to wait another 10 minutes. And I was like, fuck yeah, I like being treated like a piece of shit. And nobody does it as good as Dunkin' D's. Every time I walk out of Dunkin' Donuts, I go, thank you. They don't say a word. <laughs> it's quiet. Thank you, guys. They don't give a shit. If you try ordering Dunkin', if you go to the fuck, they're also... One of the worst in terms of like ordering, like if you were to order Duncan, they just they just gave up. You know, D Duncan has this thing in in you know different people call it different things. I call them Munchkins. Other people call them donut holes. Canadians call them like Timbits. Prezzo calls it the F slur. But these delicious confections, if you try to order them online. For Dunkin' Donuts, they don't let you pick what you get. It just says, surprise me. <laughs> you can't even pick. They don't give a fuck. It's just like, eh, surprise me. I don't know. Just throw some in a fucking bag. Maybe it'll be the amount I ordered. You also can't order less than 10. You just can't. They won't let you. I'm like, why? It has the option for like one, three, and five. It's just always blocked. Every time I'm like, ah, we don't actually have five. And I'm like, bitch, how do you not? How do you have 10, but five is like, I don't know about that one. It doesn't make sense. If you have 10, you have five. 
But that's what I love about Duncan. Making me feel like a piece of shit all the way through, baby. All right. Chat. Today, we got to get to some business. We got to get some business. Mario Party Vod is great. Dude, it was a fucking fantastic game. Let's go Peppermint Parkway. Boys, we recently went through and played all of the old Flash games that I remember from my childhood. Nostalgia for some and a new experience for others. And today, I figured we'd take it to an even bigger domain. Gaming's largest domain, mobile games. We played Doodle Jump, Flappy Bird. Back in the day, you used to have to buy an iPhone from eBay with Flappy Bird on it just to play it. So today, we're going to play every mobile game. That's a lie, okay? We're playing just like the big ones that everybody remembers. I can even show you the list right now. It's not going to be every mobile game, but like every mobile game that I fondly remember growing up. And if I missed a mobile game that you used to play, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Hands up. Cuff me, officer. I just, I, pay, I tried to pick the big ones that everybody, you know, the iconic ones, okay? All right, just the really iconic ones that everybody used to play back in the day. Okay, that's it. I'm not trying to pick new games. I'm just trying to pick the ones back in the day, all right? No Clash of Clans. I want to also pick a game that's fun to play for like 20 to 30 minutes. Because that's all I'm going to give it today. And I feel like it'd be disrespectful to Clash to play it for 20 minutes and be like, yeah, this was actually not very fun. <laughs> I set up my base and, and did one raid. Wow. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're going to play through these games. We're going to rank them S through D. And the first thing that we always have to do is organize our tier list. Okay? We got to make sure our tier lists has correct ordering so s tier s tier if a game is s tier it means it's a great fucking game and it is worth playing and i would play it again a tier i had fun and if there was nothing else to do like if the power went out and this was on my phone i wouldn't mind playing it b tier i'll eh, play it like once you know maybe twice you know it's not like out of this world, but yeah, I play it once or twice, and I, I have a decent enough time doing that. C tier, novelty tier, right? It's a one-time use. The condom tier, C is for condom, one-time use. After that, it's pretty much used all its value. I would not recommend going back. And F tier, it wasn't even worth the one time. That was a waste of my life. I wish I could get the time back. Now let's go through all these games and see where they stack up. I think we even have blue stacks here. All right, okay. All right, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Lud so rich he doesn't reuse condoms. What are you using? Sheepskin? <laughs> what are you doing out here? We did do balloons in the Flash series, chat. We did balloons in the Flash series. Come on. Give me a little respect. Give me a little respect. Okay. The first one I want to play is the one that is probably the most memed about nowadays. I feel like it's had a resurgence of sorts. Is there an easy way to play this on screen that's not ugly as shit? Let me see if I can do this. Hold up. Let me get it started. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please enter your age. The first game we're going to be playing is, of course, Subway Surfers. Now, wait, one issue I have here.
One issue I have, let me just make sure. Do I have audio? Put in your age. I gotta be the oldest motherfucker playing this game right now. What does it go up to? <laughs> oh, we just stop at 65? Oh, you can be a one-year-old. And that's chill. But once you're 66, you just get lumped into the plus category. You just you're a you're just a plus sign now. You're no longer a real number, a real person. You're a plus sign. The one year olds get their own special place. It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. What also is fucked up is I'm almost halfway through this chart. I'm almost halfway through this shit. Do you want to improve your ad experience? No. All right. Subway, this is Subway Surfer's Shinjin Showdown. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll do a little Shinjin Showdown. Oh, wait, we're in it? Wait, hold up, hold up. Ref, hold up. Why is it the quietest thing known to man? It is mouse mode. You got to use the volume on blue stacks directly. Oh, I see. It sounds like shit. <laughs> I guess it's a mobile game. It sounds like it's coming from a phone. So I really shouldn't complain too much. All right, let's just try it. Oh, now it sounds better. Is the game really just left, right, up, down? This is copyright free shit. Hold up. I don't care about the music. Let's play some real fucking tunes. The only person I know who's unironically playing Subway Surfers is Michael Reeves. And if I recall, he's like pretty fucking good at it. I didn't think you could be good at it until I met and saw what Michael's doing. He was like literally number one for a period in North America. Oh, I can use arrow keys. Wait, that's actually way better. I don't think I can beat his record, but I can try my damnedest. What I mostly know about Subway Surfers is this. Oh my fucking god. Uh, it's it's just this playing on the su on, on the bottom, and then somebody on top just telling like a Reddit story or some podcast story. I never enjoyed it as a kid. I thought it was kind of pointless. Oh, what the fuck? Do we have TTS to go through actually right now? <laughs> Mods, give me a TTS. I am a YouTube frog from Sweden. I really like your content. Also my first time donating. I hope you have a good stream. It is 3 a.m. over here. What's a good score? I'm at 4,000. That feels kind of low.
Thank you very much for the message from Sweden, from Svier. Lower can real cute today. No, I'm not saying that cause it was my birthday yesterday and you missed it. Okay, I didn't miss your birthday. You didn't tell me in advance. I feel like that was bad. Michael Reeves. Subway Surfer High Score. Mike, are you still number one in Subway Surfer? Nah, not for this week. Last he had a score of 6.5 million? What did I just get again? Sorry, what did I just get? <laughs> 6.5 million? How? Did he play for three days straight? That's crazy. He had a 30x multiplier. That would still only put me at 150k. So I'd have to play for 40 times longer? Can you buy a multiplier? Oh, that's what I need. Wait. Oh. How old is your brain? What is going on? Cat. Cat. What is this? Get me out. What? What am I doing? No, I don't want to. D leave me alone. Literal mobile ad. Leave me alone. Holy shit. Stop calling me 65 plus. I couldn't get out. Well, that feels bad. Two X, get a thousand. No! Well, that game looks kind of good, actually. Maybe we should try it out. Uh, all right, chat. Where do we rank Candy Crush? Or excuse me, where do we rank? Where do we rank a uh, 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 Subway Surfers? For me, honestly, I'm not a big Subway Surfers guy. I'm not a big Subway Surfers guy. I don't think it's an S tier. I do not think it is an S tier. I find the game's gameplay to be quite boring. And then even as, even as like a under a YouTube short thing, I prefer when they're like cutting sand with a knife <laughs> or like playing with slime as opposed to the Subway Surfer gameplay. I think Subway Surfer... B tier. It's B tier for me. I'm not putting it that high. Maybe this is disrespectful. It could maybe go A, I would argue. But for for me, Subway Surfer, you play it a couple times. I wouldn't throw it that much higher. I, I might change it to low A. Let's see how the rest of the games go. And speaking of, this game has kind of coerced me to this way. Let's take a look at our sponsored advertisement. Let's take a look at Candy Crush. Now, Candy Crush has a grip on some people. There are some boomers 
who play Candy Crush all day long. Apparently, somebody told me in TTS there are 15,000 levels since this game came out over 10 years ago. Almost 15 years ago. So we're going to try out a bit of Candy Crush today. Yeti here, reporting for Crusher Duty. What do you need me to do, Tiffy? Drag matching candies to make three and uh, three candies you will look make so magic. Good for being sixty-five. Thanks. Wow. Thanks. Appreciate that, Hannah. Oh, I have to do it. Collect blue candies to meet the goal for this level. Try matching three candies in a row horizontally. Here you'll see how many moves you have left. Keep collecting blue candies, and then it's fucking. Bulging out of its uh, socket for me to swipe it. But I'm not going to do it. Because it's it's actually like too horny for me. So I don't want to do it. I wish it would stop like bursting out of its, its gourd. It's making me uncomfortable. What am I... Oh shit. Oh fuck, I'm sugar crushing right I now. I like the shirt you oh, wore fuck. yesterday, Prue. Wow, you passed on your first try. Toggle hints off. Yeah, please, no hints. Select boosters. Hold up, I gotta turn off the, the hints. Okay. This isn't sponsored. I'm not paid by Candy Crush. I called it sponsored because during the uh, uh, Subway Surfers game, I had an ad for it, which I thought was funny. Clear frost candies by connecting next to it. Okay. All right. Easy. Easy. So I need to connect next to frost candies. That's so free. Yup. Uh-huh. Why not me? My pops just got a girlfriend. He's 76 and has dementia, but still got Riz. Too bad he already has a wife. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> That's wrong. That's wrong. You missed a cookie? What are you saying? Sweet. Sweet. This cookie right here? What the fuck is a cookie? Holy shit, I'm coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, keep going. Holy shit. That was awesome. I hate how the font is like literally the most boring ass aerial font. Okay. Four candies in a row will make a marvelous striped candy. Striped candies will clear a whole row. Okay. Fuck. What does the fucking chocolate do? This feels like slots, but I have to do the work.
What's go what is going on? Striped candy can be horizontal or vertical. To beat the level, we should remove all the frosting. Oh, wrapper! Chocolate! Dude, I'm actually kind of good at this. <laughs> kind of good at this. Hi, what is your name? Um. Sorry, shit. No, <laughs> that was stupid. My name is Ludwig. L My name is Dubbin. Oh, fuck. Okay, sorry. Oh, that's the wrapper. So I'm assuming at a certain point this becomes an actual puzzle game as opposed to what it is right now. Which is like... Slots. Because <laughs> all I'm doing right now is watching slots. That's crazy! I swiped tw one time! Alright, hold up. Uh, you know what I want to do? I want to watch, like, the hardest level of Candy Crush. What the fuck am I watching? You finished 15,000 levels. That's awesome. This is a gift from us. Thank you for playing. And the gift is that note that says thank you? <laughs> That's crazy. All right, we're getting lit. Uh, I think, if I'm being honest, Candy Crush is like... It's like a C tier, man. It, I don't know. I just, I don't feel particularly impressive when I beat it. I know I'm early days and maybe later levels it's more impressive, but I don't know. It feels underwhelming. C for candy. It's like a condom. I had play it once. I would play it once on a plane ride and then never again ever until I die ever. I, I, You know what? Let me play a game that I like a lot because I feel like I've been a little harsh. I want to play a game that I played a shit ton of.
when I was in high school. I want to play Fruit Ninja. I used to play Fruit Ninja all the time. This game was so sick. It had such a grip on me. I don't even know why. I used to just feel so sick swiping my finger perfectly. I just thought it was a skill game. Oh, fuck yeah. You don't hit the bombs. Oh, baby. How do I see it so different? Yup! No! I missed the fucking... This shit again. How old is your brain? I'm not sixty five. Can you find the right words? What's wrong with tech? That's not even how brains work, man. It's not even how it works. This game is so fucking eight. You're not just dumber because you're fucking 66 versus 65. Cat. Playing wordscape Tack is a word, a by the way. Mind. Try cat. I, I, I saw cat, by the way. I saw it. Everyone, Everyone's going to be like, you didn't see cat. I saw cat. I saw it. Fuck you. I don't want to play you. Get me out, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Chill. Yup, yup, yup. Tack is a word. Tack is the, uh, when you are lifting your skateboard Sit back to turn. Old man you're about to press your nose against the monitor. 32! I'm gonna kill myself. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I got 291. The high score is 3,008? Give me a second.
I don't care. I clutch. One for every year I've been on this earth, baby. Fuck yeah! Go for the fruit ninja world record, love, you can do it. I was on a, a three. Fuck me, the bombs. Fuck! No joke, that's actually hard as shit. Cat. Did you see the YouTube video from the guy that made this and Jetpack Joyride? Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. You can just level shit up? Dude, that's what I hate about mobile games. You can't just boot into it and be the best in the world. You have to, like, play and, like, fucking, you know what I mean? Like, fucking level up and, like, get your dailies. You can't just boot in raw. You know, like, like, Super Smash Bros. You can just go into that shit and you could be the best in the world. I mean, I guess there's a bit of pay to win if you get certain characters for DLC and Ultimate. But, like, you know, for the most part, you can but in a game like this, it's about power-ups and fucking, you know, missions and dailies and blah, 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 blah. So it doesn't reward true gaming skill like I have. Watching your stream from the synagogue tunnels in New York. It's 9 p.m. over here. Hey, happy, happy New Year. <laughs> I don't know another sentence to follow up with. Yup! 
I'm Barry Blasting. What? I, I can't. It's not uh, off the screen. Scary. Wave! Dude, a wave gives you like a hundred? That's crazy! Lag, lag. Five fruit combo. Very blast. I'm freaking my shit. 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 Nobody freaks it like me. Fuck. Fuck. I got a wave coming. It's okay. under the impression a fruit wave was a wave with fruit. I didn't think we were doing an American Halloween by slipping some bombs in there. Hey, here's a fun little treat for your fucking kid. A bomb along with some Snickers, these assholes. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, what do we rate it? Chat, what do we rate Fruit Ninja? I think... I think if I'm being honest, Fruit Ninja is an A or S tier game. It is a very good game. I think it might, though, be A tier. I think it might be A tier. I don't think it's S. I think I'm being a little bit too biased if I go S. It's good. It is good. It is worth playing it multiple times. If the internet's out and I'm sitting down, I would play it. But I think there's a reason this was a huge game when I was in high school, and it's not so played anymore. I think it gets a little boring a little quick, right? I think it gets a little boring a little quick. So I'm going to lock it in. And I personally, although it's going to be the case with almost every game here, don't like the pay-to-win aspect. Not even the pay-to-win aspect. I guess it's a little bit, but like the play-to-win aspect. Uh, let's go to another game. A game that I think some people might be upset. Eh, well, let's just say, let's just go to another game. Let's go to Geometry Dash. It was a misclick. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah.
one, baby. First try. First try. What did I do? Fucking clutch that shit. Come on, man. Come on. Easy. Easy. That was not second try. Look, it says attempts one. Attempts one. If you guys are watching at home on YouTube, please subscribe while you're here. The people who watch me live... You guys are cool, though. Thank you for watching. Okay, that was good. <laughs> uh, you got the wrong demo, man. I'm 28. Uh, what do you want from me? Get, can I get out? Let me... I get it. TikTok, yeah. What are we doing here? G get me out. How do I fucking... It's opened up Google Chrome. God, I'm too fucking old to deal with mobile game ads. I literally don't know what to do. The big X button? Where's the big X? There's no big X. Oh. You saw that lag. I know the game is on Steam, and it's better on Steam, but I want to make sure that I'm playing this game and ranking it equally with all the other games. And Geometry Dash started as a mobile game, and it's definitely better to play on Steam. I would recommend, if anyone wants to play it, to go there. But it seems a little unfair if I'm like, yeah, let's rank uh, uh, this mobile game on Bluestacks, and then I go to Steam, you know what I mean, for Geometry Dash. Is this game a Fodian game? Kinda.
Hold up. I want to look at this. First off, I've seen a couple of YouTube shorts from, I believe, uh, Geometry Dash Level Editor. Maybe they're YouTube videos. But it's amazing the levels that you can make in Geometry Dash. Like, the background, the aesthetics. This is a fucking amazingly looking map. Like, it looks gorgeous. It looks so good. And then for someone to also be able to complete this. This is crazy. It is a bit busy. There's a lot going on. <laughs> But I think that's also because it's a very hard level. Go to change of scene. It's eight minutes long. God, I fucking love this song, man. Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, third movement. This is the first time I'm actually following what's going on. Never mind. He teleported. Never mind. He keeps teleporting. Now I'm out. Dude, that's crazy. It's crazy. Somebody made this? It's crazy somebody made this. And it's not like, like, just a fucking guaranteed, like, level in the game. It's not like a, like, it's a fan-made level. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Holy shit. That's insane. Without a doubt, I think Geometry Dash belongs in S-tier. And I think it be belongs in S-tier. One, it's a great game. Right, I think I think it challenges you in that part of your brain in, in a similar way. Honestly, when I'm playing Elden Ring, right? It, it, I guess in terms of like the how you have to stagger your dodge roll for an enemy because the moment you might want to click space, this is very base level. If you do it, sometimes you get punished. I like that aspect of it. I think that makes it just fun as an intro, you know, thing. And then I, I also like the music aspect of it. I think that makes it really fucking fun. The music makes it insane. But what really makes it S tier is the community. The community for this game 
it's crazy. You know, and, and not to, to, to admonish the games that are ranked lower, but I think there's a reason Candy Crush is an S tier. And it's because the community is just people who have been dedicating their lives for 10 years to playing the game, as opposed to a uh, coordination of level editors, uh, YouTubers, g g game designers, whatever it is, you know? So, Geometry Dash, fucking S, 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 S tier to me. S for skill issue, okay. I could probably beat this level if I needed to. I could beat that, dude. I could beat it. It like no offense to people who have played it and like like dude, it was so hard to beat. Like, yeah, congrats, buddy. Uh, you know, that's a big accomplishment. Don't, you know, sell yourself short. Pogo Stuck 1, Pogo Stuck 2, Pogo Stuck 3. Jump King 1, Jump King 2, Jump King 3. Getting over it. Let's not mention only up Pogo Stuck Jump King getting over it back to back to back to back 40 minutes right like that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing so you know i i get it it's fun it's hard not for me look up slaughterhouse you would never beat it ever Doesn't look that bad. A quarter of the way through, I could do it today. Might take longer than a day. Is it is it kind of like Mario Maker where if you make a level you have to beat the level for it to get published? Yes, that's good. That's a good feature. Uh, all right, Geometry Dash S tier. Let's go to our next game. Let's go to a game that let, let, let's dial it back a bit. Let's go to a game. That I played a lot of. That I don't see a lot of. I used to try to beat this game like every six months. Paper Toss. back that's off that's good two's right here it's cash
Not enough. Oh, clutch. So you want to take your cat on a walk. Here are some tips I learned to get you started. Get your cat a well-fitted harness. This is super important because cats can easily slip out of a collar. Accept that your cat leads you. Cats explore at their own pace. They'll enjoy sniffing and investigating their surroundings, so let them take the lead. Lastly, be patient and understand your cat's body language. Remember, it's essential to respect your cat's comfort level. <laughs> if you're an animal lover like me and want to learn more tips and tricks, download the TikTok app to start learning today. That is not what you're going to find on TikTok. You're going to find a video of... The Somebody. creator of Fruit Ninja Luke Musket has a video where he talks about designing and making the game. He was very against a lot of the play to win aspects but the studio went all out after he quit. That's actually really cool. I respect that. I think I've seen the guy's video titles but I haven't watched them yet. Hey Ludwig. My grandpa is turning 93 this weekend. I think you and him would get along well. I think so too. Oh, not, but like, not because I'm fucking old, because I feel like I get along with people. Well, that should have been a bucket. We're being so fucking... Time to put the kiddie games away. When are we getting a Spy Fox in dry serial playthrough? Dude, now we're... Now we're cooking. Son of a bitch! Dublin, could you please help me convince my wife to play hooky and stay home from work tomorrow? convince her to play why do you want her to play hooky you just want to hang out with her that's kind of sweet is that chill at work though you know you gotta you gotta consider How's the job going? She good at it? A lot of factors. I'm weak from the right. I'm electric from the left, but from the right, I'm a little weak right now. Dude, how do I beat a level? Oh, to beat the level, I have to fill up the meter, which means I have to shoot a few in a row. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Did I do it? Only eight points. This isn't the one I used to play as a kid. The one I used to play as a kid, the final level was a, a, a like a baseball stadium and you'd shoot it from downtown i think this is a knockoff all right it was fun as a kid man but now that I'm older, I realize the game is mostly just remembering where on the screen based off the level you have to swipe based off the number of the win that pops up because there's no real strength meter that matters. You can't overshoot it. It's not that good of a game. I can't believe how much time I sunk into it. I might throw it F tier. I might throw it F tier. I, I, think, I think Beer Pong on the iOS Game Pigeon is better. Multiplayer beer pong on the iOS is basically everything this game is, but more and better. Thank you to 50 Gifted Soli Man. Thank you, Daniel, for the 10. 20 days, uh, $20, 20 days, you can't beat that level in an hour, Roger, to now. I don't know what you're saying, Lucci, but thank you. It's an F tier. 
All right, next. Next up, we're going to go to a game that inspired my favorite game this year. A game that you guys are probably Immune well familiar with. Frank from Chile. I'm also an EM resident and just got the Muggle Moves fanny pack. It's honestly top-notch and super useful on my 24-hour shifts. Love the content, airs La Raja. Thank you very much, Bazin. Glad you're uh, enjoying the fanny pack. I love it. I use that shit daily. Appreciate you. Uh, this game inspired my favorite game this year. Suica game. You might have heard of it. It's called 2048. Now, I never played this game because I thought it was boring as shit when I was in high school, but everybody who I was friends with was addicted to it. All I know is that it functionally operates like Suica, but I don't actually know how to play. I think, okay, so when you swipe something, it goes all the way across. Oh, everything moves. Fuck. I feel like I fucked up already. Wait, wait, I can't... Okay. The arrow keys don't work, chat. Okay, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Shit. There, there's too many things going right now. Okay. Yeah, baby. Come on. Come on. Two fifty six. Two fifty six.
fuck. How is this game hard? Yep. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. That game fucking sucks, man. <laughs> That game's got nothing on Suica, dude. Fuck 2048. That game fucking sucks, man. That had the same level of enjoyment as playing Sudoku. Suica's way better. It's better when it has big fruits that are big in Japanese. Not boring number. Ew, boring, yuck. Ew, boring. I want to go to a game that's less with the brain, you know? Not so much thinking. Let's play Kick the Buddy. Hey, I'm Buddy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> no! No! Kill me! Don't! Did you just say kill me? Come here, come here, come here. Come here! Oh! Let's go, let's go! Oh my god. That looks so oh wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh, watch this. Oh! Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go.
This is just Katamari Damashi, but like less charming. No, fuck off. No! Oh, gracious me. I'm gonna check out some of the other apps, alright? This is just interactive buddy, but they like monetized it. I live in a box. This is miserable. I cannot fucking believe this is a real ass game that people have to play with ads. Fuck that. That was miserable. And it's six ninety nine monthly to not have ads? Monthly? Are you fucking kidding me? What a pathetic piece of shit game. Fuck that. Trash. F tier. Jesus Christ. All they did is take all the soul out of an addicting game's free flash game interactive buddy. Rip the entire thing and then say, how could we make it worse by trying to monetize it? $6.99 weekly? That's not real. That's not real. Come here, come here, come here. Come here! Oh! Let's go, let's go. Wait, that is not oh real. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, watch this. Oh! Oh my god. Kill yourself, Perito. <laughs> Fuck off. No ads. Can I go watch the X Files for a while? So Fifteen dollars. Jesus Christ. Mind if I catch a nap here? Oh my god, that's crazy. That's crazy. This shit should be illegal. I don't know, maybe this makes me a goddamn commie. But I feel like this shit should be fucking illegal. To have such a low effort game that's a ripoff of a flash game and then all you do is innovate on how to squeeze money out of the people playing it seems insane to me. I feel racked with guilt when I have a $1 member and I don't feel like they're getting their value back on their membership. So I've been doing an insane amount of member only streams and content and that's a dollar. Imagine if I was doing a stream and then I stopped the stream and then I said, hey guys, I'm going to now charge you $15 to, well, I guess I do that. I do run ads on my streams. You know what? I actually think it's kind of chill. I think it's actually kind of cool that they run ads. <laughs> it's like a good, it's like a good, like, you know, it's a good vibe in a way. It's a good vibe. Uh, that is F tier. That's an F tier game. That game is horrible. That game is the easily the worst game. It that you know what? That game was so bad. I'm gonna add a row. Right here. Just because I don't think it's like fair to paper toss or twenty forty eight. It's a scam. That is not a game, that is a scam. All right, next. Let's just play an internet classic. Just the music gets me going. I used to watch Nintendo Capri Sun play this all the time. I used to play this game so often.
Are they still kicking? Is Plants vs. Zombies still crushing it? Are people still playing it? My biggest gripe with Plants vs. Zombies is how slow it starts. If you're, like, replaying it. But... I think it's well designed for, for the time and for someone who had never played it before, you know? I'm a big sunflower exploding pot guy. Eric, thank you for the membership. EA owns it now? That's sad. Dude, eat shit and die. <laughs> God, I hate mobile games. I'm oh, sorry, not the sunflower. The sunflower gives you more sun. Who's the exploding one? The cherry. Or no, the potato bomb. Yep. I'll spam my sunflowers. Potato mines, yeah. Unlucky, I should have waited. Why are you guys mad about the symmetry being ruined? I'm a freak, man. I see the world different. Okay, a huge wave. Monka. up all the zombies in an area. Ludgig. Holy shit, the cone heads. Need some sunlight here. Can we uh can we fill up a man? Bench PR last week of three hundred and five pounds while Yeesh. listening to the yard. Papa slime gives me strength and make me big. That was big, dude. Congrats. Three oh five. Fuck.
Look, it's nice. It's a nice checker. Why are there ads above you? Because where I'm playing this on Blue Sex. The thing about Plants vs. Zombies is there's literally no way to iterate. It's reached its peak format. I forgot they blow up immediately. <laughs> I thought it was the potato bomb. Son of a bitch. I don't know what this Surge pin comment is. Surely we get some more sunlight here. Yeah, guys, come on. The potato is so swag. All right, now we're playing a real round. This ain't a potato, are you guys fucking with me? Wait, is this not the potato that goes underground? Oh, this is a stall walnut? Oh shit, is it the one that stalls? Fuck. Classic Ludwig, always nutting early. The placement kind of goes hard, no? It's kind of sick.
Look how much sun I'm printing right now, guys. I I'm like, I'm beasting this shit. Dude, I'm crushing this game. I'll let it pass. They let me play a few rounds. I'll let it pass. Alright, this is my LG. Okay, now all of a sudden, this is a ew, gross symbiote. <laughs> Fellas, how do I close out? Oh, there we go. Whoa, what? Greetings, neighbor. The name's Crazy Dave, but you can just call me Crazy Dave. I got a surprise for you, but first I'll need your help. Use the shovel and dig up those plants. Okay, now for the surprise, we're gonna go bowling. Take this walnut. Where? Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now, go bowl me a winner. Oh, I forgot about this. Howie. They should make Plants vs. Patriots, Jan 6th edition. I don't know if should's the right word there. Uh-oh. Okay, we're cooking. A huge wage is approaching? I thought this was the fucking huge wave. I want to play one more level. I want to play with the freaking potato. 
You know what? Never mind. I'm good. All right. Plants versus zombies, man. Plants versus zombies. I got to throw it S tier, man. Plants versus zombies is just a great game. It's a great game. It's always kind of fun to replay. It is, it is S. It is S. I don't think it's as good as Geometry Dash. As opposed to Geometry Dash, where they, which I think is constantly evolving and being pushed by the community, Plants vs. Zombies is like they kind of nailed it on the first one, and it's fun to go back to, but I don't know if it's necessarily iterating in ways that I've been interested in. Let's go to a game that was so damn popular, so damn loved, it eventually got removed. Let's play Flappy Bird. Hold up, way too loud. How about plants versus army mummies? So I'm actually nasty at Flappy Birds. I've done the uh, challenge to get a score of 100 before. It was kind of easy. I'm getting uh, I'm getting it right here. I'm getting it right here. You know what? That's good. That's good. 48. That's not bad. That's not bad, man. That's not bad right there. That's not bad. 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 It's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. Look, I already did a goddamn stream where I hit 100, all right? It's a B-tier game. 
it's fun once or twice a year and the value abruptly ends after that. Couldn't even get 50. Testicles. Don't fucking say a hundred. Don't say a hundred. Fuck you!
Why, chat? Why did you say a hundred, man? One fifth. Dude, I farted so bad that I actually had to close my eyes because it was burning them. I'm done. Uh, B tier. B tier. It's good once or twice a year. I'm done with it. Next. All right, what do we got? You know what? I've never, ever played this game before, ever. But everybody said I have to include it in this tier list we're making. So let's go ahead and play a game. Called Jetpack Joyride. This ain't how a damn jetpack works. Is this basically just the game helicopter, but like modernized? Or oh, speeding up? Yeah, 
likes. Wait, is this the whole game? Little stompers in town. Barry. Holy shit, I'm fast as fuck. Fuck me! Yikes! Okay, I'll use the free revive. If you get to 10,000 meters, I'll subscribe to your channel. Stopper. Fuck. Lag, 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 lag. Dude, I was electric! <laughs> Game's kind of fun. Uh, I would like no upgrades. I would merely like to play again. All right, if I get, I think if three, if I get 3K, a subscription on YouTube, which is free, is actually pretty fair. Oh, it's a shield. <laughs> I instantly lost it. Little stomper. I'm actually a little stomper goat. I don't fuck with a little stomper. Easy. Son of a... Uno mas. Uno Moss. Yeah, they're pretty good about the ads on this game.
Lil bro over here saying he can hit 100 but gives up like a lil girl, just like how GE gave up on making watermelons. Bet he can't hit 100 in the next 10 mins. Bigger number, better person, Dubbin. Ronnie, I don't know, maybe this is controversial of me to say, but I don't think it makes you a little girl to give up. You know? Maybe that's just me, though. I think little girls can do a lot. I get a reward in two seconds. Look at what you done your daily today. Also, you should play Mother 3, it's my favorite game. That was hard. I, I shouldn't have gotten baited by the coins. Mr. Cuddles the Dragon! Good at this game, baby. Stopper, baby. <laughs> Fuck. Yes. You had three free ones? Oh. Well, I figured it'd be really fun to watch this super laggy ad instead. Hog is really not that good. So you guys like cheese?
on, Jetpack Man! This suit is very laggy. Okay, it does not move nearly as quick as I was hoping. Five thousand, baby. Such a loser. I'm a 19 year old bookstore employee with only $200 in my bank account. <laughs> so I'm thinking about selling my feed pig. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Did he just. Okay. All right. Uh, let's just rate Jetpack Joyride. I never played this game before. I've never played this game before. But after having played it, this game is good. I think it's an A tier game. I don't think it's S tier. I don't think it's up there with Geometry Dasher Plans for Zombies. I'd be lying if I said it was. I'd be lying. Ludwig, you haven't used your spin tokens yet? <laughs> yeah, I love the ads. No, I don't mean it. Fuck! I didn't know how the, the game had gambling. I didn't know the game had gambling in it. Still an A tier. Still an A tier game in my mind. I think it's still A. I'm not moving it up to S. It's an A tier game. It's good. Not great. It's good. Not great. Uh, all right, next game. Next game, let's play. Let's play a game that's out every goddamn Dave and Busters. Why is every game having me put my age in? This is like Frogger, right? You know Frogger was the first video game I ever played? I think it was called Frogger 95. That train is fast as shit. <laughs> Lottery, lottery, <laughs> lottery, 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 lottery. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. This is just Pixel Frogger. What? What? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, all right.
Sorry, I yelled. <laughs> That's crazy. Check this out. I'll take my time. I press left, I press left, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking... <laughs> Dude, how much is TikTok fucking paying? I don't want to pay. I don't want to, no, I don't want it. Thank you. I don't want it. No. All right, check me out, check me out, check me out. I'm, I'm actually trying, I'm actually trying. LG, LG, LG. Hey, you. Give me all your Robux. No, I don't have any Robux. What? Don't you know how to get Robux for free? Just download this game. This is a scam. You don't get Robux for free if you download this game. All right, last cross your roads attempt. Last cross your roads.
Next game. That one is fun. I like Crossy Road. I like Crossy Road. I think Crossy Road, to me, is A tier. I don't think it's an S tier game. Uh, it's not like fucking play it every damn day. It's like, I don't even know if it's A tier, man. It's it's probably B tier. It's it's the same exact genre as a Subway Surfers, as a Flappy Bird, and as a Jetpack Joyride. But Jetpack Joyride has enough accessory stuff with the the the, the power ups and and the casino that I think it makes it a little better. So I think I think it's a it's a B tier game. I don't think it's A tier, and it's definitely not S. Uh, next game. This game I used to hate as a kid. I used to hate this game. It got sp like advertised to me everywhere. Every fucking time I would open my damn iPod, this game was like popping out at me. Cut the rope. Dude, I am noticing a trend across all these games. They all seem to have the same monetization strategy. <laughs> uh, how the fuck do I close out of you? What? Go away! Dude, go away. We gotta wait till this fucking meter ends. Rotate the record using this handle.
No, I don't want to play the first level for babies, chat. What? What am I doing? What? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, sh uh, sure. I'll equip it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll open you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll put it there. That was an ad I realized halfway through. Frog ass. No, cats. <sighs> there are so many ads. Nice. to my boy! This is a cool puzzle. What? Pull this chain? Okay. What? Nice.
What? F I'm fucking done with this shit, dude, man. Fuck! Mobile games are fucking ruined. Jesus Christ! I didn't realize this evil was out there. I didn't realize that almost every mobile game is just infested to the brim with the same formulaic thievery of money, time, attention. Just the most low effort bullshit to monetize these dog shit ass games. That's unbearable. I feel bad for the kids. Uh, cut the rope is C tier. I, I'm not going to try to judge it be based off the advertising aspect. It has horrible ads, but I think the game itself to me is C tier. I don't, I don't, I've never found it particularly fun. I'd play it once fucking maybe. I don't, I don't, I, I don't enjoy the puzzle aspect that much. Uh, all right, we only got a few more games, so let's go to a game that I used to play, I think, the most out of any game here, and I, in a way, I feel like inspired Subway Surfer. I don't know if I'm right about that, but let's play Temple Run. I was good at this game growing up. At least I felt like I was good. I guess I could have been bad. I didn't really have much context to, uh, as to f what it meant to be good at a game. I don't know how to tilt. <gasps> Fuck. No, it's not the arrow key. The arrow key's turning. This isn't exactly the same, but Temple Run 2. Damn, it has a buffering system. I never played Temple Run 2. This is past my time. What's, how do I use my boost? Dude, yes. What is the water?
It does visually look worse, but I would chalk that up to it being a browser adaptation of the game. I tried pressing jump, I'm not even gonna lie. I thought you would jump out of the water. You actually go under the water. <laughs> Okay. Two thousand meters? What's a good score? I feel like ten K. I always thought it was kinda hard to die in this game. I'm raking it in. Usually I save my space bar power if I need to get out of a sticky situation as opposed to just ripping it to go a little faster. But I guess maybe I won't enter a sticky situation. So far, this game seems kind of free. I think I just fucked up. Maybe that's the issue with this game. Too easy. And the procedurally generated world isn't interesting enough. Maybe that's why I liked it when I was young. Because it was easy. That's it? Alright. Yeah, I feel like I got the idea. Temple run. Man, I really expected to go into it ranking it higher than Subway Surfer. Mm, but I don't think I actually can. I think it's worse than Subway Surfer. It's a little bland. I think it's C tier. Only a few more games. Including. This is the first mobile game I ever downloaded. I used to play it on the bus, which was a miserable experience. Oh, I forgot you can shoot. Mm. 
Holy shit, I'm a pro! Nothing better than a perfectly spaced jump, so you jump into a jump immediately. These break, right? Yeah. One time jump pads. This is coming back to me, man. God, it must have been 2011 this game was popular. Fucker! Hold up, get me back in. Oh, you can do this. I forgot. That doesn't work very well. I think I remember doing this to see what high score I could get during class. Okay, I would love a score of 50,000. This, I guess, was in a way an only up game. You do only go up. You know what, I'm actually good. I'm actually good. I think I got the idea. I think I got the idea. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think I got the idea. I, I, I don't, give me B tier. Give me B tier. It's not bad. You know what? No ads. No ads. I'm going A tier. I'm going A tier. Just good old-fashioned doodle jump, man. Just keep on climbing. It's definitely not S tier. It's definitely not S tier. It's probably B tier. I think it's about as fun as Flappy Bird. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real. I think it's about as fun. I think it's about as fun as Flappy Bird. It is not exceptionally more fun than that. Uh, let's go to a game that spawned two movies that probably shouldn't exist, but do for some reason. Let's play some Angry Birds. Angry Birds. <laughs> All right. I could probably do this. Now what do I do? Fuck. Do I have to redo it? Shit. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Fuck. 
Fuck. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. How does that not kill you? There are stones on your skull, man. Oh. Come on, baby. One star? Bombs over Baghdad. Come on, come on, that's good. That's good shooting. What do you do? That's great. That's great. Yup. Light work. Okay, this guy, we're going here. How the f this doesn't make any damn geometrical sense. That should kill you. Hell yeah. Okay, can I see what's going on over there? Fuck. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now I need to squeeze you in there. Okay, that's great. How is it structurally sound? How did you not die? Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. And then I do this. Dead ass, that was a misclick. We call that two pigs, one stone.
Come on. Come on. I gotta break the bridge. Inches, inches. I can do the simpler. I can do the simpler. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Chill, 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 chill. Fuck. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yup, yup, dead man. There we go. I have a nasty red bird. You know what, let's redo that. Check this out. Going for the right guy. Come on. Come on. I blew my load so early. Cash. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, that's so clean. Fuck, I wasted my yellow bird so hard. Damn, I actually am sniping though.
Wasted my bluebird. <laughs> Guys, I know how to use the yellow bird. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's free. That's free. Oh, it's time for the mighty eagle. I think I should go across. There we go, baby! Press the angry eye. Oh, it's like a cheat or some shit, the mighty eagle. Not a word. Okay, come on, man. Come on. Oh, you give me these guys? Whee! I'm just having fun with this one. That, that's just easy. Oh, an actual challenge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this guy. I'm going to hit this with leverage. I'm going to hit the front of this ship with leverage. 
Wait, I can hit the flag. Turning out your goddamn thing, Alan on those nasty streets, all right off ring. Those are peeing. I can't believe you didn't die! Nice. Alright, LG, LG. I just get it all, man. I get it all. <laughs> all right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This is an S tier game. I get why they made two fucking movies about it. I get why this game is still popular and there's 18 different versions of it with Star Wars and Halloween and Easter and also other things that have more birds and more powers. It's a fun fucking game, man. The game is fucking fun. All right. It was fun. I had a good time playing the game. Good game! Which means we are down to our final game. I know there's two on the list, but one of the games we actually can't get to work. So we are only left with Where's My Water? Where's My Water? Water. Oh, wait. That's the game we can't get to work. Er. Oh yeah, those game. Wait, wait. No, no, sorry. That game's here. You have to pay to play Where's My Water? What? I don't want to fucking pay. Shit. It was made to literally give free water to people. Makes me feel bad. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. I think I technically can't do it. Cause I on Blue Stacks, I don't want to. I don't want to throw my credit card in here, and it's on Tim's account. I remember this game though. Hold on, I gotta pee real quick.
The only thing that I can play is a weird knockoff that I don't think is right. I mean, I'll play it. It, but look, look at the look at this knockoff, right? So this is like the Disney one with the Disney alligator. Then you hit play, and then look what happens to our fucking alligator. <laughs> it's not free. It's just a knockoff that they're marketing as free. On blue stacks, dum da da. All right, I will do it. I'm happy to do it, and then fucking throw this game into hey, the love, depths of question. F tier. How long can you hold your breath? A while. I would say a minute, not a while, and then. All right, here it is. Where's my water too? Hey, Lud, I appreciate the content. Any idea as to when the NH merchandise is supposed to come in? Supposed I am super to. hyped for it. Most people have gotten theirs. But I cannot speak for you specifically. I don't know about your order. But I would reach out. All right, boom. What are we doing here? What? Did Blue Sacks crash?
the fuck's going on? I think it broke, chat. Doesn't it work? It doesn't work, chat. It's rip. Black screen. Reload it. I am promise you right now, I'm not just staring at a black screen. I'm constantly reloading. But I appreciate the, uh, the text port. Thank you for the membership. Um, mine, Carlos. The 196, Natasha. Sound link thing at the $10. Turn off ad block. This is on blue stacks. There's no ad block. I don't know, man. Every time I boot up the game, it just does this. I've cleared every window. I'm back in and I'm opening it up. If it doesn't work, I'll call it GG. You know what? Look, man. This one, this one is it. You can only pay to play it, which honestly. Honestly, I was going to flame for a moment, but based off of how the other games make their money, I think it's better that it's pay to play as opposed to free to play and then get inundated with ads in 50 different ways where they try to extract money out of you. So I, I think buying games might be might be the wave. Having said that, though, there's no way for us to play this game, unfortunately, and this game I won't buy just because I think it's unfair with how we rated the other ones. It's not even about... I, I can... I. I can't afford it. It is true. But I don't want to buy one game because I had to play all the other games for free, which sometimes made the experience worse. And if I had paid for it, maybe it would have been better. Seems a little wrong, uh, weird. So we're just we're just going to call it there. We'll call it there. We have a great list. We ranked 7, 9, uh, 12, 14 games, man. 14. Where's my water robbed? It didn't get robbed. It's not ranked. So how would it have gotten robbed? Uh, but it's only pay to play. It's only pay to play, which unfortunately, I think is a little bit of a scam for the other games. 15 games is better. Oh my God, are you guys going to be whiny fucking assholes? About okay, you're going you're gonna to keep whining. I just have to do it. I have to do it, and then I have to just fucking, I have to suck it up and do it so you guys stop talking, and then I can move on. And then I can end my stream. <laughs> That's what I have to do. I have to do it because I got whiny babies. I got whiny little babies who are being whiny. All right, I got to do it. I got to fucking do it. I'm going to kill myself in real life with a gun. Okay, okay. I, I just, I vividly remember playing this game as a kid and fucking hating it. So I'm going to do it, but I'm, 
I'm telling you, you guys are going to be upset at me at the end. All right. Okay. Bing, bang, boom. Um, yes, always. Please, thank you. Okay, all right. Disney's Where's My Water? A highly requested game, 65 years old. This is our last game. So we'll see how it goes. This one did cost $2. I paid money for this? That's crazy. That's crazy. To be fair, it always froze when I played it. That's not what do you that you I paid money. There's no way. Oh my god. Is it because I put myself at 65 years old and they were like, "Hey man, you should have better things to do." No! Well, I think that officially makes it a scam. I don't think it works for BlueStacks, which is the emulator I'm using to play mobile games on my PC. It's the only way I can like broadcast it to you guys, or I guess the way that I have it figured out. So unfortunately, no way to play it. I did spend $2 on, on a bit of a scam there. Still not as big of a scam as Kick the Buddy. I will say there's the official list. Honestly, the main takeaway I have from this is free to play mobile games are a disease and a plague on this earth. And I will make sure that my child, if I ever have one, never plays a free game ever. I will always buy them the game because I don't want their mind rotted with the absolute shit that they feed uh, all the, uh, the players of the game. It's actually it's actually it should be illegal what I saw. And maybe it'd be fun, I don't know if I'll do this for real, but maybe it'll be fun if some people want it to do an entire stream where I just play through all the scam games. The cat act game, the rolling ball game, the whatever the fuck sucking uh, uh, Katamari Damashi game. Maybe, maybe we'll try that next. But for now, but for now, this is where we're leaving it off. For OG mobile games. Uh which which they're fun. They're fun. But yeah, definitely way better if you're not getting peppered with ads on them. The ads are horrible, dude. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Oh, wait. I, this, I did remember seeing this video. Chat, I don't know if you guys saw. There was a video. What's it called? There was a video I watched. This, so the, the guy who made it donated to get me to watch a video. But I, tricks on you. I already watched the video. This guy named Bombi made a video. I won't lie. This guy went a little crazy. He watched the dodgeball event I did and tracked every single throw in the event from every single player. And used it to determine how many strikes, how many outs, how many catches they got, the accuracy 
the total amount of throws and then created a statistical analysis of points based off that information. So like, okay, what was your, what was your, you get one point for, I think a strike, two points for a catch, maybe minus point for now. I don't, there's some sort of formula that the guy made, but through it, Team rankings. Pause the video if you want to take a closer look at these, but we'll get into the results. To simplify everything. Came out with the analysis that there were four tiers of gamers. The fun timers, the competitors, the stars, in the all dodgeball first team. Which included me, Myth, Moises, Michael Reeves, Nick Allen, Mizkiff, Caroline Slime. Slime sneaking in there. I don't know how that happened. But, also said the absolute GOAT MVP of the entire event was MVP award, which goes to Ludwig. Ludwig averaged 13.5 points per game, 7.5 strikes per game, three catches per game, all with a 25% accuracy, which means one in four balls that he threw were landing. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you, this is statistical analysis. Bonby, I don't think, was any happier than you guys are to receive this news, to have uncovered this news. But it would be an injustice to not report the facts based off the objective data. You know, some people don't want to hear this. It was his event, and people are saying that he stacked the tournament in his favor. And yes, his stats were partially padded by playing Team Facebook ah. in the group stage. But he really was great in this entire tournament. The best overall player through all three stages. Best overall player through three stages. Caroline better return the title. Caroline, he said, was like the NBA Finals MVP. As opposed to mine, which might be like a regular season MVP. Ah, we don't need to watch that. I didn't pay him. Look at the stats, man. Look at the stats. Where is it? Boom, right here. Right here. The stats don't lie, man. And Caroline and Myth and Slime. But just look at the stats. Great accuracy. Highest catch percentage. Nobody came close. I actually think that's what it was. I think it's because I caught so many balls and the way he weighted catches because they're worth two because you get somebody out and you bring someone in that I was number one overall. Catching is like the most valuable thing. And it's also why Michael isn't higher because Michael had negative catches. It means nothing without a ring. <laughs> You're right. It does. You're right. I didn't pay Bonby. The best accuracy was Slime. Slime had the best accuracy, but he also threw a very, very few. He, few he, fuck. He threw very few balls. But his accuracy was high. He probably should have thrown more balls. I don't know how Aiden's accuracy is negative four. Oh, that's what it is. The VORP is the difference between the average of everybody and that player. So 10% means he was 10% more accurate than the average person. And Aiden was 4.2 less accurate than the average person. That's what Vorp is. Uh, but maybe this chart's better. On the left here, I targeted 30 amount, 30, 30, 30, 30. I targeted 30. Is this total or average per game? I think this is average per game, right? My accuracy was 25%. Slimes was 26%. 25% accuracy is kind of crazy, though, no? One in Michael four Reed balls you throw? score from dodgeball goes crazy. 15 strikes, 34% accuracy. 
Michael Reeves does go crazy. He got he got um he got 41 targets, 8.3 strikes. He was chucking the ball more than anyone. I didn't realize how much he threw it. An average of 41 times a game he threw the ball. Here are the final QD threw the ball four and a half times average. Yeah, Michael threw it 41 times and then hit 8.3 of them, which is insane. I guess I was just a catching god. I averaged three catches a game. Is that right? Is that right? Three a game feels high. That's crazy. What's the p-value? The points? I believe it is strikes plus catches. So strike is worth one. So seven and a half. I don't know what a half is. I guess that's average. So that's that. So one uh, a strike is an out. Hit somebody, they get out. And then a catch is worth two. So 7.5 plus six, 13.5. P values for statistics. It's not the point thing, Ludwig. Oh. Now watch me. Watch me. Guys, I am not into this nerdy math stuff. I'm just a dodgeball guy. You know what I'm shocked by? I'm shocked at myths stats. Not to be a hater, but I left that event thinking Myth did kind of mid. That's That was my feeling when I walked away. I was like, yeah, Myth didn't play that well. I expected him to play better. I was also surprised how low Will was. I thought he would be higher up. Hassan didn't catch a single ball. <laughs> he didn't catch one. Dan Clancy was right when he said, don't go for catches. By God. Nick Allen is the Shohei Otani of his team. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That is fair. Targeted. Michael Reeves was the most targeted player in the game. I think he gave an award to Sapnap for the most uh, uh, dodgy, like the best at dodging. He was out the least of anyone, Sapnap. That's impressive. I feel like Stans did incredible. He did very average based off the stats. Like painfully, but in a good way, I would say. He feels like the Mario of the game. Lily? Where's Lily? Lily did... Uh, she didn't get anybody out. <laughs> that is tough. She did not get an out. She did catch a ball, though. So there you go. I think she caught a couple balls. Ray did well. Where's Ray? Yeah, Ray did very well. Squeaks even did pretty damn well. Lily was Thanasis <laughs> to 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 Michael's Giannis. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. There's also a ranking of the teams. It shows just how bad uh, Team Kick, or excuse me, just how good Team Kick was. Team Kick led in strikes, outs, catches, accuracy, points. They were second least in targets. Team Facebook was the worst, which is no surprise. 
Team YouTube, we had we we threw the ball the most. All right, nobody can take that away from us. We we threw that more than anybody. I can't believe we were so bad at catching though. Jesus. I think all these catches are fucking mine and Lily's. Anyway, nice video, Bombi. I watched the whole thing. I saw your recommendation at the end. I probably will not follow it. He recommended that I do a draft format for dodgeball and do it again next year. I'm not sure if I would do dodgeball again next year. I worry a bit about a draft format. Could be cool. The reason I did the platforms hey, this time, though... Just want to say I have been watching for a long time. You did not help me through a hard time, but your old SAP vids helped me fall asleep less than three. You are the man. Keep it up equals. Thank you. I do think it was good enough to run it back, but I have a bigger idea for a sports event that I'm going to try. But, yeah, what I was saying is... um. I did the platforms because this was my first event streaming on Twitch and YouTube. And so it was a nod to that more than anything. Because I like the idea of, you know, having Twitch versus YouTube when I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube. But I don't think I would do a draft format. I like communities. I think it'd be fun to do an event where it's like speedrunners versus W streamers versus news streamers, if more than three can get along, versus our peers, you know, versus YouTubers, versus whatever. Smashers. I think, because I, I think um, there would be instant chemistry amongst the players. Penis. Nonce. <laughs> I can't believe. Okay. Um. Wrong. I felt so good about that. Blonde. Nice. Dope. Okay, skinny, scoop. Word. Boob. No. What's the skinny? What's the scoop? What's the word? What's the hello? What's the can't? What's the lean? What's the boob? What's the slope? What's the con? What's the fool? What's the list? What's the trick? What's the giggle? What's the dope? What's the dupe? What's the eggshell? I don't know. Trick fool, con, dope, dupe. Hmm. Word, scoop, skinny, slope? What's the dope? 
What? All right, that was a guess. I don't know. This is hard. Deadass, I just clicked four random ones and it didn't work. Okay, hold up. What's a can't? Words spelled with an upside down calculator. Oh my god. That's a good one. Tilt to one side, lean, list, slope, can't? A can't tilt. Oh, I, I've never heard of that. Shit. Shit. Guillermo del Toro. Put, put blank in it. Advice for solving four answers in this puzzle. Uh, backbone. Spine. Sound of a slack message. Ding. Greek god of war. Ares. Uh, animal. Uh, wait. Put blank in it. Put. Okay. Animal that looks like an elephant pig hybrid. Uh, t uh, offer a point of view. Opine. Offer a viewpoint, opine. Parts of the Olympic logo, rings. Number of stars on the Puerto Rican flag, one. Uh, Tapir, a pin, offer a point of view. What is, put, put a pin in it. Spine, ding. I think ding might be wrong, ding is wrong. Place to get a massage, spa. So annoyed. Like I said, as a ping, I just always thought of it as a, as a ding. Oh, hey, Lily. Oh God, I hope you're, hello? Hey, Lily. Hey, um, so, <laughs> sorry for bothering, I know you're really busy, hey, but no like, worries. I said 9.30 and it's 9.36 and you know the four of us are on, so are you still want to play or it's okay, totally okay if you don't want to, but I just thought I'd call you and see where your headspace is at. <sighs> Hello? Oh, Valo? I'm, I'm sorry. Logging on, on right now. You were on. Wait, well, you remember, right? Yeah, I remember. Okay, cool. I'll see you in the other chat. Bye. I totally forgot about that bitch. I'm not even gonna pretend for a moment. Damn, time flies. Okay, chat, I actually need to go play Valo. I'm gonna play offline, but Lily Pichu is live on YouTube. If you wanna watch Top Frag POV. Thank you all for watching today. I appreciate it. Good stream. I'll be live tomorrow, hopefully at noon for this Mario Kart thing. I'm still missing two people, and I had someone just flake, which very reasonable flake. Uh, but because of that, uh, I gotta I gotta take a look. No member stream because I, I just want to eat and chill. I've been doing a lot of member streams. I don't feel bad, but I appreciate you all for subscribing today, for becoming members, for watching, for hanging out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully at noon. She's not even live. Uh, Scara, Scara, go watch Scara's POV. Scara or Avon. Alright. Peace out, y'all.